Hey guys, Karma123 here and had a pretty awesome battle. Just now I lost, but that's fine. So I started off with the Gore Abyss and I went for the Ice Beam towards the Talon Flame. He switched into Azumarill knowing that the Ice Beam would come here. So I used the HP Grass. He got off a of Play Rough. I just went for another HP Grass and he switched into Zapdos and Zapdos took that part nicely. So then I switched here to Cofagrius because I knew he wouldn't really be able to touch it that much. So here I set up a Will-O-Wisp on the Zapdos and I just get his go down with the burn. And here I just go for the Stab Shadow Ball. He switches in Mawile. Oh no wait. Oh crap, no no that's later. Oh god. So here I tried to burn the Mawile that way he wouldn't be a threat later. But he set up a sub. So then, then he set up a Swords Dance and I went for the Shadow Ball. So here I went for the Will-O-Wisp after he got off the Fire Fang. In order to cripple his Mala. So then now I believe I go for the Stab Shadow Ball. After he gets up into the Fire Fang. Yep. And then the burn's enough to kill the Mala. Then he sends in the Zoomeril. He gets off the Play Rough and Kofagrius doesn't die. The Stab Shadow Ball does not kill though. So here I had no reason to um, switch out, so I just went for the Shadow Ball, but he ended up missing the play ref. It was pretty unfortunate. So the score right now is 6-4. to four. And I thought I had this battle in the back, but no. So I went for the Ice Beam here, I got it on the Zapdos, I just went for another Ice Beam here, I think. Yeah, that I don't know why he went for a Heat Wave, maybe he was trying to get the burn on my Gorbis, but yeah, I killed the Zapdos. So now the score is 5-3. This Cresselli was like a big problem actually. Now the score is 4-3. Because I go for the fake out and I make it flinch. And then the second time I go for the um, return. But he sets up the reflect. So none of my moves are really going to do that much damage at all now at this point. So yeah, I kept going for the wall charge attempting to get the paralysis. And I just couldn't get it. Yeah, so here my Delcaddy dies. And I send in my Noivern. So here I go for the Draco Meteor, and it does a decent chunk. He gets the Toxic off on my Noivern though. So here I went for the Hurricane. And I, like, I was attempting to get the Confusion, I actually did. It was actually pretty cool. I missed my Focus Blast though, and that kind of pissed me off. But yeah. So here I went for another Hurricane. He kills my Noivern though with the Ice Beam. I send in Metagross, and I go for the Bullet Punch, and doesn't kill, and then he manages to get a Psychic off of my Metagross, but then I kill it with the second Bullet Punch, and then here is where he sends in Talon Flame, I believe, yeah, Talon Flame. So, he didn't know that I was carrying the Thunder Punch on this Metagross, because like, you know it's a random battle, so yeah, I kill the Talon Flame with the crit, and then his last Pokemon is Scrafty, and I'm up 2-1 at the moment. So I was like, okay, I got this in the back. So I go for the Earthquake, and it doesn't do that much to Scrafty, and then Knockoff kills my Metagross. So then my last Pokemon is Diggersby. So here, I set up a Swords Dance. He knocked off my leftovers. I went for the Wild Charge, but I ended up not being able to kill it. So he does take me out with the Knockoff, and then he beats me. But yeah, that was a pretty good battle. I I don't know if I should have kept going with the Draco Meteor with Noivern, but I mean, I know it had Stab, but like... It's special attack was already down by two stages at that point. So, I didn't know what to do. But yeah, guys, that was a pretty good battle even though I lost. So, yeah. Congrats to my opponent here, Ice Gear. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Come on to 3 here, signing up.